You know, it's, it's based on the image. It's, it's based on the photographic image. But I would also say loosely based on the photographic image. And the thing is, I, I understand how to paint well enough that I can, I can make things up. I want to have a painting with an aspen forest, but there are no aspen trees, so I'm going to combine these two images together. And so there's going to be some improvising that goes in. I do an underpainting in black and white. And um, with this particular painting, I started, <laughs> started kind of liking the black and white aspect of it. I don't know what color the overlays are going to be at this point. I've been thinking about it, you know, um, whether they should be different shades of light gray or maybe a completely different palette altogether. Uh, and the problem for me is combining both complete abstraction, the geometric abstraction, with representation. Bringing these two different forms together, these two different languages. I mean, it, you know, an analogy might be a Latin language versus a, um, an Eastern language, you know, and, and finding common ground there. So that's what I'm doing with these. I don't have a concrete answer of why I want to do this other than I kind of like where it's going so far. And so I'm going to go off in that direction and if the painting doesn't work then it doesn't work, but at least I'm going to try it. The thing is when you find out what works, then there's no need to do it anymore. You know, then the series is over. <laughs> 